Hi, I'm Mike Rende, Trailer System Trainer, and today I'm at the Portland OC with Max Gonzalez, and we're going to be going over some repairs to a bulk container chassis. This one was damaged in the landing gear. After properly supporting the chassis, you want to then go ahead, remove the K braces and all of the other braces supporting the dolly legs. Next, you'll want to remove each dolly leg and remove the timing bar. You'll want to make sure to disconnect the wiring harness towards the rear of the trailer. Feed that through the structure along with cutting the air lines and any wiring. You'll want to cut off and save each one of the plates that hold the dolly leg onto the structure. In the video and in this image we're using a plasma cutter. Continue to use your plasma cutter or torch to remove all the damaged sections of the structure and any attaching parts that may need to be removed. Once the structure is cut out, use your plasma cutter to scarf away as much of the weld as possible. Here you'll see that when the structure was originally welded in, it's under the frame. You're going to want to use an air hammer with a chisel bit to separate that from the frame and then continue to cut away at it. And once you get that done, this is what you should see. The next step is a lot of grinding. Grind away as much of the weld material that's left on the frame as possible to make the fitment easier for you. After all the grinding, you're ready to take the new plates, figure out which was the best way, angle, to fit them into the frame, and be sure to line them up where the old weld marks were to position them properly into place. Clamp them down at the top so that way the top of the plate will touch the bottom of the frame evenly. Note that the bottom lip of the plate is facing the front of the trailer. The other side will be facing the rear of the trailer. Clamp the sides so that way you can tack weld those in. Do your tack welds and continue to weld in one plate. Weld the inside and outside of each structure plate. Now that you've got one structure plate in place, it's time to fit in the other plate. Don't weld it in yet because the plates that we took off of the side of the structure that hold the dolly legs in place you're going to want to bolt those plates to the dolly legs, then bring the dolly legs to the frame, adjust them up or down accordingly to get them lined up with your front and rear structure plates before welding the second plate into place. One other tip, don't forget your timing bar and you're ready to weld all the plates and attaching parts into place inside and out. With everything lined up, reinstall your K braces and your dolly leg braces and test the function of your dolly legs. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the training team.